Raglini. I hope you're well. So it's it's not Wednesday. I was about to say it's Wednesday. I'm such a day in front. No, not in front, behind of myself. Um, so it's Thursday today. I've just done my makeup. So I've got on my amazing, amazing moisturiser and eye cream. This just instant youth. It's absolutely amazing when you team it with the Renewal Serum as well. It's just absolutely brilliant. I don't want to bang, about, bang on about it, but it is amazing. If you don't believe me, get some samples and try it. It's so good. Then I've got on my foundation honestly it's all so so good so my little avon shops down below anyway so weather bit cloudy little bit sunny if you're lucky quite a nice day calendar of the day let's have a look let's hope it's a good one dun, 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 dun. fabulous Oh, I like that one. <laughs> um, so lovely. It's nice to feel a little bit fabulous sometimes, isn't it? Sadly, I've got the pest control man coming this morning, so I'm definitely not feeling fabulous today. But maybe after the pest man's gone, we might feel a little bit fabulous. So let's hope that somebody else has a really, really fabulous Thursday, my darlings. Right, so it's 25 past eight. The rat man's coming between nine and ten. Um... Obviously, he's got to go in the drain to check for the <clears throat> night bait and stuff. And obviously, when he goes to the toilet, all his stuff goes in that drain. It's so horrible. And he's got to work in the drain because he's going to block like a pipe thing up that he thinks they might have got in. So there's an old pipe down there. So obviously, while he's here, I won't be able to go to the toilet or anything. And that instantly makes you want to go to the toilet. It's horrible. Um, so I'm going to quickly have my breakfast and kind of get ready for him coming and make sure I've had a wee before I get to him. Right, breakfast. So breakfast this morning, we've got two wee to bits, chopped banana, skim milk. I'm just going to make myself another small cup of tea. Right, okay, while well, we're waiting, we've got to do the boring job. So I've got to fill dishwasher, uh, fill washer bowl, empty dishwasher, I've got to pack a parcel, I've got to do my Tesco food shop. Um yeah, a bit boring really. I'm just waiting for the little man to come. Oh, and I've got to make this as well. I'm having this for tea. I've not had this for absolutely ages. As you can see, it's quite a well used recipe. There's lots of little splat marks on it. I used to make this all the time. Um, because obviously it's like a slimming world recipe and I've gone over to Weight Watchers, but I fancy doing a bit of slim world, so yeah, that's what we're gonna have for tea later. Here I am. So I've got on like a vintage jumper which is really really cool and i really like it i think it's a cna one but i can't make my mind up if i'm too hot <laughs> this weather is so strange so i can feel it's like warm against my body but i can't make up my mind if i'm too hot or if i take it off i'll be too cold so stressful jumper stress right i'm still waiting for the rat man so last night i if you eat your breakfast or if you're eating food just pause this bit because it's not very nice um so last night we started to smell a bit of a funny smell you know what's coming next don't you so we sniffed in this corner and you could smell like the smell of death it's just horrible i remember it from many years ago when my little hamster died it was disgusting um so anyway my husband tried he managed to crawl in the attic and he found a dead rat and he had to get some well, I've given him them. Uh, we're going to throw them away, obviously. Some, like, sausage tongs. You know, like, long tongs when you turn your sausages over and stuff when you're cooking. So I gave him those to keep, and he got the rat out with the sausage tongs, and, and I had to catch the dead rat in a bin bag, and it was just all absolutely horrible. The smell was absolutely disgusting. I had to put masks on. I can't even explain how awful it was, and I didn't know if to laugh or cry. I was that upset, and I still feel very, now, awful. So anyway, we can't smell anything else. So obviously we're going to have a word with the rat man when he gets here and stuff, but it's just disgusting. But I know some of you have been through this and you did say about the smell, so I was ready for it, but it was gross. Anyway, so we were both, me and my husband have both been so stressed, we feel absolutely awful. So we've got some of these. So I'm not one for promoting drugs or anything, uh, tablets, but you can buy these from anywhere. You can get them from any drug store. You can even buy them from the supermarket. My mum's taken these for years. I have taken them before on and off, but I've not had them for a long time. And we took two of these last night before I went to bed, and I have to say we did sleep a lot, lot better. So if you are feeling really, really stressed, 
talk to your pharmacy or just go and get a box of these. They're not very expensive and anyone over, is it 18 can take them? Yeah, so anyone over 18 can take them. They're just a little herbal thing, but you can buy them from anywhere, so they're not like really expensive or really like, ugh. But yeah, so not promoting anything as such, but just putting it out there, because if anybody else is feeling a bit anxious and stressed like I get, I just get so bad. Um, these might help you. Go and have a lot of them in Boots, Chemist, Superdrug, anywhere. Right, anyway, let's wait for the rat man and decide whether to put a different jumper on or not. Right, the pest man has gone. It's only five to ten, I'm bloody knackered. It's five to ten and it's only five to ten and we've already been through so much drama. Okay, so pest man's been done, paid him, thinks that's it. He can't find any activity in the garden. Obviously, we found one dead rat last night and he thinks that's it. They've not touched any of the bait that he put down the, at the weekend. They've not touched any of the bait in the drain. So he thinks that they've gone. We've still got to keep an eye on the bait in the attic um, and obviously listen out for any noises, but he's pretty sure that we're done. <laughs> I don't have to laugh or cry. I feel so emotional. <sighs> it's like if you want to breathe sigh relief and think it's done, but then at the back of your mind you think that there might be one more somewhere. So we're half happy. Thank God for that. Right, anyway, so it's five to ten and I need to make my little pasta thing. Quarter past eleven. So I've just done my online food shopping, so that's another job done. Can you see Winifred? <laughs> How cute is that? She's fast asleep in there and actually, and actually Dolly's in there as well somewhere. I think she might be asleep around this corner. She'll probably get up if I get up. I'm sure she's in there somewhere. Oh, no, she's not. Oh, she's there. I knew she was around somewhere. Bless them. They're all snoozy. Right, dinner time. So, for dinner say, I've got a little wholemeal roll, cob, whatever you want to call it, with some ham, lettuce, tomatoes, seafood sticks, and a cup of coffee in my I'd rather be eating cake mug. So, I'm going to eat this. It's only 10 past 12. Um, now, I need to snip to the post office and I need to get some wrapping paper because it's Ruby's birthday at the weekend. So, I need to wrap her presents up. Um, I need to fetch my neighbour's paper, a couple of little jobs. I'm trying to tie it in. I thought if we can go for a little rummage in a charity shop as well, that would be really nice. So I'll see if I can think of somewhere we can go to get all that and go to the charity shop. Right, lipstick of the day. So lipstick of the day today is Avon, 16 hour power stay lip colour in Relentless Rose. I think this is one of my new favourites. It's so cheerful without being too bright. And I just love it. It is like a lovely rose colour. So pretty. New favourite. Right, need to get my shoes on. Let's go. Right, are you ready for bag of the day? Ta -da! You only need your sunglasses for this one. Right, so we've got a few jobs to do, like I said, so we better get going.
back in the car. It's a bit windy. Right, so I did get one little scarf. Um, and then I did post my, post my parcels. So I've done those jobs. Now I need to go across to another charity shop. I thought we'd just go for a rummage and get some wrapping paper. Let's go. Right, charity shops part two. Oh, it's so nice just to not be in the house a minute and just not have to think about things and you can just rummage and think about nothing else but rummaging. Let's go for a rummage. I get on the bed and I don't think I've got a picture of her really. Yeah, we're all dead cut. She's like a sister. Yeah, I've been a sister. We're all going for breakfast and whatnot. What's that mean? Yeah, I'm going to
Back in the car. I'm so hot. I don't know if it's my age or what. I'm having a hot flush. <laughs> so I did get a couple of bits. Got a nice cold drink to have on the way home. Got all my other bits. And yeah, right. So the time is five to three. I'm a rebel. Not normally out this time of the day. Let's get home. Right, I'm home. So super fast, what did I buy? I bought this. I seem to have a bit of a scarf obsession as well. I nearly bought another scarf. And I thought, Jane, stop. So I bought this one because I did like the stars on it and it's just so soft and I just loved it it was so snuggly and nice I got this ah! I got this it was three pound I got it for Dolly um I won't let her have it yet I'll give her it when Ruby comes home from school I don't know if she's gonna like it or not it's very crinkly but it's a bit of fun it's for a cat really but Dolly loves to play um so I thought she might like it I got this how absolutely gorgeous is this? It's like a walking knitted blanket. It's from uh, Monsoon originally, so I think it would have been very expensive when it was new. I did pay six pound for it, but it is absolutely gorgeous. In winter, you know, when it's really cold and you want to layer up, this is absolutely perfect. It's so lovely, it's like a blanket. I got this, I love this khaki color. Really, really like it. Um, it's just like a Primark little blouse thing, but it's really like slouchy and nice. So I thought that would sit nice, maybe even with a cardigan as it gets a bit colder. And then I got some of these. I can't believe I got some of these last week as well. So last week I got a grey pair. And this week I've got a black pair. So they are Slazinger jogging bottoms, but they seem to fit so, so nice. I can't tell you how nice they are. They have zip-up pockets. They're really soft and fleecy. So if you can get a pair, because obviously they're new, you can still buy them. If you can get a pair of these get a pair for winter they're lovely they're high-waisted they're not too baggy and they're just so nice i can't believe that i managed to get a black pair and a grey pair though that's so funny um and i think that was it so now we need to go and take my name's paper because she's messaged me or she's rung me and she's made us an apple pie let's go to my neighbours right we're ready i'll take my neighbours paper i thought i'd take dolly with me do a good to see another person today let's go Just come into your house. <laughs> yeah, it's your friend Polly. Oh, she's scared of the bin. Are you scared of the bin? Come on. <laughs> Don't be scared of the bin, you're all right. Me, I won't do it to you. I won't do it to you. No, I don't like them rubber gloves. No. no. <laughs> just get this. Yeah. You're cheeky, you are cheeky. Yeah, cheeky. Oh, my neighbour loves Dolly. <laughs> she loves you, doesn't she? She was talking to you. Anyway, so I thought I'll just take Dolly with me. So we're going to get Ruby from the bus. Ready? We're going to get your Ruby, your favourite person ever. Let's go and get her. Right, we've made it home. Yeah, yeah Ruby, give her it. <laughs> You've got, you got a gone. tunnel. Look, current science it. Dolly. You have to put it on the floor, see if she's wrong. Dolly. <laughs> Hello, Dolly. <laughs> Dolly, <laughs> come back. Right. <laughs> what do you think, ladies? Oh, look, it's a treat. It's a treat tunnel. Is it a bit scary? Ooh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah Winnie likes it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Do you like it? <laughs> Dolly, that wasn't very <laughs> nice. Florence can go in the tunnel if she wants. Mm. You might have to put a treat in it, then she'll go in it. She won't do that. You'll have to put, have to put a treat. It can be a treat tunnel to put a treat in it. Well, they'll grab it through that bit. <laughs> I think the dog is broken. The dog is broken. Why is she chasing me? <laughs> The dog is broken. You're broken. <laughs> and just like that, there's my tea. So there's my tea I've made. So I made it this morning, my posh like 
ragu stuff is it called um and then i've just done the pasta and then there's my tea um i've got some leftover pasta so i can perhaps have some tomorrow for my lunch um my hubby's tea but i've got to keep that warm he's not back till eight o'clock bless him um and then there's some leftover ragu as well so i might be able to pull another little meal together so off to enjoy it Ooh, i cannot even begin to tell you how excited i am to watch this film oh my goodness it's called Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. Gloria told me all about it. Um, I've got the book, which I've not read yet, but it looks absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. It's coming out on the 30th of September. Oh, my tea was absolutely delicious. I remember now why I make that tea. It is so tasty, honestly. I love it so much. Um, I don't know if you can pause the video from this morning and um and make it i don't know if you can copy the recipe but it's so good right as you can see it's dropped very cold in my house so instead of putting heating on i've put on another cardigan and a scarf and my slippers um i think we're gonna all have to use a little bit of common sense and if you think i'm cold think could you put a scarf on a jacket before you flick the heating on it's all the little things i think that will help so that's what i've done so me and Ruby have both got jumpers on um scarves anything just to keep you warm because although it's cold it's not freezing cold so i think that's what you need to do and i also want to say i'm going to love you leaving now because it's getting quite late but um i was talking to my mom about my rat situation and she said oh you haven't told people on the internet have you and i said actually yes i have told people so she said, oh i want to told anyone and it may be cross because that is the sort of generation that my mom's from where you don't tell people about disasters you don't tell people about your mental health you don't tell people if you had rats in your house why not if we all admitted that we'd had rats in our house it would probably make you feel better because you think i'm not the only person that's happened to so i think you should talk about things and you should share things and if you've had a rodent in your house like me you can't help it it's wildlife and the fact that we live near fields and stuff and obviously we had a dicky drain it managed to get into so it's it's not your fault so if you've had a rodent problem if mice rats whatever don't feel bad and know that you're not alone and the same with mental health we should talk about things more and it's nothing to be ashamed of so i wanted to put that out there i said to my mum i will share my rat problem because i think it makes people feel better and if everybody else knows that everybody else had a rat problem you won't feel as bad I think that's very, very true. So anyway, it is. If you do enjoy just a little bit of real life with all the truths that come with it, then please subscribe to our channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got their own Instagram, which is three fluffles. My website is down below. And my little Avon shop is also down below. My lipstick is still on. I told you they don't come off. So I love you and leave you. I will see you tomorrow. And it started raining. Cold times ahead. I'll see you tomorrow.